What was the worst pain you have ever felt? Chest tube being put in, or taken out, not sure, they both were equally freaking awful. I came here to say that, having my chest tube pulled out pulled the screams out of me too. Reconstructive tendon surgery on my hand, the local wasn't working and they couldn't give me any other anesthetic as I was hammered as frick. The pain wasn't as bad as watching a guy pull two sides of a tendon out of the top of my hand and tie them together. Not gonna lie, that was pretty frickin' weird. Similar thing happened to me when I was 4 yo. I got long nail penetrated right above my heel and I don't know why but the stupid doctors didn't freaking use the anesthetic while stitching. I was agitating so much with pain they had to hold my hands and legs together because I wouldn't let them stitch me. It hurt way more than the injury itself. Having my nail bed scraped to clean it after gauze was removed. The nail was removed in surgery. It was pretty much sandpaper on an open wound. I cut my thumb off in the same incident and that pain was 1 stroke 10 compared to my other finger that only had the nail pop off. Nurse said shouldn't hurt ha ha. Frick you nurse. Nail beds are so sensitive you can sometimes depress them to rouse people who are knocked out. Gallstones. Yep. Thought I was actually dying the first time I experienced an attack. Dislocated my hip by busting it through the front of my pelvis, destroying part of my pelvis, and tearing my hamstring 60% through, all in one swift motion. I need to know how you did this, ouch. I tore a contact and scratched off a good portion of my cornea when I was a junior in high school. Any light at all sent me into a spiral of pain. My dad was convinced it was allergies so he had me take like 4 Benadryl. I still didn't sleep. When he finally took me to the doctor the next day they put the dye in my eye to see if it was scratch. Half my eye turned orange. I wore an eye patch for like a week. I've had double knee surgery, broken bones, scratched my eye, had a brick wall fall on me, and many other injuries. But nothing compares to that terrible feeling. I was absolutely screaming all night long. Scratched my cornea twice. Pretty intense pain for sure. When I was 7 I decided to go on a bike ride. Being the idiot I was, I thought I could go down a really steep road all by myself without supervision. This was just after I had learned to ride a bike. When I started to pick up speed I thought I should stop my bike. But instead of putting my feet down and slowly come to a halt. My dumbass thought I'll just squeeze the brakes and the bike will stop instead I went all the way down the road, crashed into someone's electrical box, and practically flew off my bike. I broke my right side of my femur. That wasn't even the most painful part though. That was when my dad found me and thought yay he looks fine and grabbed me by the arm to try and lift me off my feet. Obviously it hurt like heck. Comma when I was 7 I, I read this as when I was 71, was happy to find a person on reddit older than me, though I wondered why it took you so long to learn to ride a bike, I guess I should go ahead and get those reading glasses. Ectopic pregnancy burst, they said it was the size of a softball, luckily, I survived. Holy crap, that's terrifying, glad you made it. Cluster migraines. I seriously wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Getting a tooth drilled without enough Novocaine. Head on car accident. I was in a little Toyota Yaris and he was in a big four wheel drive. I woke up in the ditch with searing pain in my neck that radiated down my arm causing pins and needles and numbness. I also had very bad whiplash, including intense bruising. I would wake up every night with crushing chest pain. On top on that I had a very bad concussion. Getting my ankle run over. Oh my god the exact same thing happened to me worst part was that I was so filled with adrenaline that I didn't actually feel it until later on. Physical. Kidney stones. Six times. Emotional. The unexpected death of the first love of my life after just two years of knowing her. It took a long time to get over that sufficiently to move on. Just experienced that emotional one a few months ago. Keep it going bro bro. I had a hernia that turned into an infection. Basically my knee turned into an outie. Being 16 and invincible, I ignored it for a few days until I couldn't walk anymore. It was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. I had my mom take me to the hospital. They put me into emergency surgery and after a waking up in the middle of surgery and having to be put back under, I awoke in a hospital bed with no belly button. God's eye was strong then. 
when I still had my ovaries I would get cysts on them during a particularly stressful time in my life. There were a few instances of said cysts rupturing that happened to apparently be on the larger side. A guy feel. The worst was when I had a hemorrhagic ovarian cyst burst and I was down for literally a week in so much pain before it lessened. I've broken bones that hurt similarly or less than that. Zero stroke 10 would not recommend. Falling 12-ish feet off of a playground onto my back when I was 12. Didn't break any ribs but I couldn't run or bend over for a couple months. On the plus side, my abs got a little more defined because I was always flexing them involuntary from the back pain. Yeah I just had a sinus infection that turned into bronchitis and my abs are ripped. Can't breathe still but I got that going for me. I have had a leg amputated for gangrene, a heart attack, half my esophagus and stomach removed, cancer, and osteomyelitis of my spine. The worst pain was when they put a pressure cuff on the leg to measure blood flow. I broke the table and would have broken the doctor if he hadn't been so fast. Kidney stone. By far. Pancreatitis. Getting a baseball straight into my nuts. Oh gosh I play softball and a pitch to the knee was enough. My stepbrother had killed himself and when my mom told me, it felt as though my heart was literally being ripped out of my chest. When I think about the day she told me, I can still feel that pain. My brother killed himself 5, 1 stroke 2 months ago and it feels like it just happened yesterday. I can still feel the ache in my chest and my screams in my throat. This is the worst pain, by far. P.S. I hope you're doing okay. Going to the dentist and hear the doctor say this is only going to hurt a little bit I thought I trusted him. I don't know which dentist you guys are all going to because mine always asks every 5 seconds if it hurts and it does she makes me more numb. A pinched sciatic nerve. I don't know if some of these other things are worse. I'd be interested to hear from people who experience sciatic nerve issues and something worse. Tased, but it was for a demonstration so they taped the cables to my upper shoulder and lower back. Cause they wanted maximum contact. Suckers. This whole thread makes me feel like a privileged butthead. I've never felt excruciating pain. Don't feel too bad. Pain is a physical experience but it's relative. Something that causes excruciating pain for one person can be a walk in the park for another person. Gout. Hands down it's gout. Not physical pain so much, but I had a major anxiety depression breakdown where I couldn't eat for a week. Was crying so much that my tears gave me a rash. Literally couldn't force myself up off the bed floor sometimes. Couldn't escape thoughts of suicide for even 10 minutes, and lost the ability to want anything whatsoever. I felt like I couldn't scream hard enough to express what I was going through. No matter how long and loud and raw I cried, I checked myself into the hospital for a bit. Started therapy and meds, quit and moved back home, started exercising and eating better, got back to work, and I'm doing okay now. I'm actually moving out of my mom's house and into my own place next week. Congratulations on your recovery. I'm so proud of you I have been in a similar situation and can fully understand the pain and the effort to finally get out of that hole. Good job. I wish you a bright future. My co-worker and I would go on a bike ride nearly every day. One day, I had a flat front tire and borrowed a wheel from another co-worker. We were coasting down a long hill, when a Chevy Chevette coming uphill crossed so far over the double yellow line that it forced us both off onto the shoulder. I fishtailed on the soft shoulder and almost got it back before hitting a stone wall and flipping the bike. I landed on exposed bedrock, breaking my L4 vertebrae and my right clavicle and splitting my helmet in two. My friend came up to me and declared that was an awesome crash. Then I tried to sit up, and that was the worst pain I ever felt in my life. An hour later, the woman I had been secretly dating showed up at the hospital, whereupon I, under the influence of narcotics, declared my undying love for her for all to hear. We married a year later. Gallstones. Lots of them. Felt like I was being stabbed repeatedly right under my breastplate. 10 stroke 10 worst physical pain I've ever been through. I would have these attacks from gallstones that would absolutely cripple me. My boss threatened to fire me if I didn't come to work. 
so I was bartending and it ruptured. I was already in pain but it was like this wave of incredibly intense pain that I felt ringing in my ears and then my whole body felt cold and I just hit the ground. Accidentally kicked a concrete wall when I was about 7 while playing soccer barefoot. Smashed the 3rd, 4th, and 5th toes on my right foot along with a good portion of the nail on those toes, and it took around 1 to 1.5 months to fully recover. Once in 11th grade I felt a small discomfort from a gas buildup and so I went until lunch to relieve myself. No way I'm going to be the dude who stank up the whole classroom and deafened the class. And nothing happened until 10 seconds later it felt like my guts were trying to expand out of my torso and I couldn't move I tried to get up and get pulled my pants up and then fall down as it got worse. Tried calling for help but my voice didn't want to work and was more focused on making paint grunts. It took until one of my friends in 5th period, we have 5 classes a day and lunch is after the 3rd, said where's up I saw him at lunch they checked the sign out sheet nope didn't go home so where? They looked first in the bathroom thank god and found me macbing his awful pained grunts as my guts inflated then one of the teachers had to get the principal to get the special stall unlocked. For when owls lock the stall and then slide under to get out, and help me to a chair and get me into my mom's car. I was then taken me to the air where I then had the gas expelled and now when I need to let one rip I find a bathroom so I never have to be half carried out of a bathroom again. Shingles. The nerve pain was so awful I was bedridden for a week. Also, you do not have to be old to get shingles. I was only 20. Blood clots in my lungs. 8 of them. Felt like my chest was caving in on me and I was dying very slowly. Close second was getting my nipples pierced, but that pain was short lived. The copper coil. As someone whom is allergic to nickel and no one being able to confirm it was in the product, I had a horrible reaction and couldn't move due to vaginal nerve pain. Zero stroke 10 would not recommend. Walking into my mother's house to find her dead on the couch, I've broken bones. I've split my head open. I've been in car accidents. Nothing compares to the literal pain I felt in my chest that day. I, I feel you there. That's how I found my dad in January. Thankfully we knew it was coming. I was there to bring him to hospice, but freaking heck I can still see him there. The worst part was when the 9, 1, 1 operator told me to start chest compressions. No lady, rigor is setting in and he's got a DNR so just, no. Inflamed appendix. That hurts so bad. Infected abscess with a cellulitis cherry on top. I have arthritis in my spine. Just had a herniated disc replaced. I have had broken bones. Went through completely natural childbirth. Had a messed up uterus and gallbladder removed. Have had root canals and infected teeth. But thinking about having that freaking open wound repacked twice a day before the infection healed makes me want to vomit. It felt like every nerve was on fire. I was in bed with intense pain for about 2 weeks. And it wasn't even MRSA. It is probably the reason I can tolerate my chronic pain now without opioids. So, I guess there is that. I have gone through natural childbirth twice and the worst pain that I have ever felt was when I threw my back out. Constant searing pain with every movement. At least contractions give you breaks. Getting a tooth pulled when the root of my tooth was curved under a different one. Probably not as bad as a lot of other people's, but my first semester in college I got the flu and a double ear infection simultaneously. I couldn't keep anything down including painkillers or antibiotics. Every time I threw up the pressure made it feel like someone was pushing flaming pool balls out of my ears. Breaking three middle fingers on left hand. You have been visited by the romantic doggo. Comment love is magic so you never fall in the friend zone. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.